<laughs> okay, uh, Jason, Jody, and Michael, what else are the nation we talking about this week? Big Brother. I think Big, Big Brother. Brother. That's all I'm talking well, about. Well, I mean, yeah. I didn't watch it, but you. Well, you've you... missed out. It's just been phenomenal you this year. It? I really, really have. Why? Um, I love the ritual humiliation of people that I have I think kind it's human of... Torture. Uh, it, it's good when they come in at first to see who you know and who you don't know. Yeah. Mm. Luckily, we all knew Stephen. Did you know anybody in there? Uh, Vinny, you know. Vinny doesn't give you a choice about that. <laughs> um, Alex Reed, of course. Everyone knows Alex. He's all, he doubles up as Mr. Potato Head. I did... <laughs> Look, he's got the same ears. Have a look next time you see him. Same ears. <laughs> I, I did something quite stupid. I, I, I read a bunch of the yeah. newspapers going in, and, and it caused me to have to have these meetings with the producers, and they were like, oh, it's rubbish. Just go in there and you'll have fun. Even the producers say it's rubbish. They... <laughs> <laughs> Who was your favourite? Um, you really liked Nicky, didn't you? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that Nicola Teeth. That little oh, angel. Well, can, I, can I ask that? Because you know you had a real go at her, and sh y you were wrong. They edit the program. I watched the whole they thing. They edit the program. No, that bit had a beginning, middle, and end. So what happened in the bit that we didn't see then? He was uh, right and everyone else was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we're guessing. So, something happened where we were in the kitchen, and Nicola said to me, uh, oh, I should have thought about this little thing that transpired between us before you went in to nominate. Okay. And I said, don't worry, you're safe. And it was a, like a, a, just a very off the cuff kind of joke. <clears throat> but Big Brother stepped in and that evening they took everybody's food away that night. <gasps> Such selective memory. I can't Vinnie <laughs> Jones said he spent 400 pounds on a pair of socks. Yeah, that yeah, was the big story that. this week. That's the, that's the only thing I know about it. 400 quid for a pair of socks. They never got to no, that I've price. I've never. I've like eight never. quid once, I think. I thought, whoa, hold on a minute. <laughs> Have you never been to 400 pound land? What was your best experience in there? There was this uh, one particular time when uh, Stephanie Beecham uh, read the most erotic part of the Bible, which is the Song of Songs. Yes, the, the most erotic part of the Bible. Right. <laughs> That's the bit I go to if I'm feeling lonely. Yeah. That's why they put it in the, in the drawer of the hotel. In case, in case you haven't got money for that channel, you can go, hang on, song of songs. It's, uh, it's only a, it was only a joke, but go on. It was only a joke. I, I... <laughs> I have a feeling you're going to be saying that again sometime. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 oh, yes. Are you saying I'm damned to hell? Yeah. Stephen Baldwin. Let's just clarify this. Yeah, yeah. I've just got a picture of you being damned and on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Alan. I think me and the devil would get on. Yeah. <laughs> It come back to the story, because she was reading the most erotic bit of the book, because I thought you had a bit of a crush on her. She has this voice. She got very into it. Oh, yeah. And it wasn't too long after that that I was evicted. So it, it all worked out just great. When you say evicted, that means what I think it means. <laughs> what does that mean? Basically, it's something to do with, <clears throat> with Jimmy said it. <laughs> 84 shows in, it looks like Sean's broken the code. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look and see whether Big Brother was one of the most talked about things this week. Okay.